Welcome to Guitarist Senior Moment. I've been playing guitar for about 50 years, and now that I'm getting older, I find I can't quite do some of the stuff I used to. A few months ago, I joined an R&B dance band, and we do a lot of fun dance tunes. I get to play some Nile Rodgers rhythms, Earth, Wind & Fire, Cool in the Gang, stuff like that, and I love playing that kind of rhythm guitar. We're gigging pretty regularly, and I haven't played this much in quite a while. Lately, I've been having some difficulty keeping a good hold on my picks. I've been trying a few things to help me grip those picks. I thought I might share some of those with you. I got most of this stuff on Amazon. This is one of my favorites. It's a fairly large, clear grip. These are Berlade, B-I-R-L-L-A-I-D grips. $11 for a 30-pack. You can find similar ones in black. I tried the black ones. They started slipping off the pick after about an hour, and they turned my fingers black. I put one on each side of the pick, one of these clear ones, because I find the thickness helps a lot. On the downside, after a few hours of use, they aren't as grippy, but I found a solution to that, which I'll get to in a few minutes. You can also get monster grips, which I like. Um, that's what this is an example of. But I like the other grips, which are a little bit larger. kind of helps me more. I tried some picks that have bumps and ridges like this one. They're okay, but they really didn't help me. Maybe a few years ago, but now these just slip around. This stuff works great. I used to be a bank teller, and I remember we had this product called Tacky Finger. We'd put a little on our thumbs, and it would help us count money. I found this item, Sort Quick, on Amazon. It was $7 for a three-pack, which is very affordable. I know you can get Gorilla Snot or something similar. I've never tried that, but I know it gets pretty good reviews. So I just rub my thumb across it and then rub my thumb and forefinger together for a few seconds. When I first put this on, I thought it was greasy and I was disappointed for about five seconds. Once I grabbed the pick, it was fantastic. Then I used that with the Berlade large clear grips I talked about earlier, and it's perfect. Now here's an easy DIY thing. Um, I used one inch wide gaffer's tape, but I think you can pretty much use any type of tape you want. Maybe painter's tape work, but I haven't tried it. You need to tear off a piece that's about eight inches, maybe a little bit more would be better. I used eight inches for this demo. Then I just tore it down the middle into two strips. Wrap it around the pick few times but leave about three to three and a half inches then very carefully begin to wrap in the opposite direction so the sticky side is out it'll be very sticky at first but it doesn't take long before it's not so sticky you can add more tape to make it thicker and I actually wrap this a little higher than I like it I usually wrap it a little closer to the tip of the pick a couple of last thoughts about picks for a long time, I just use any medium pick. It's what I started with and played with for 40-something years. Then I watched a couple of YouTube videos. It's a fantastic guitarist that said that a thick pick help when you're trying to play some single string stuff fast. So I tried that. Then I watched Tim Pierce, who you have to watch. If you don't watch Tim Pierce, you need to watch him, who said that he likes pointed picks for single string playing. So I uh, went out and bought some of those. And the other thing about Tim Pierce is I've never seen a person look happier when they're playing than him. Uh, also, I found out that when I use these, uh, when I play these Nile Rodgers rhythms, it's a lot easier on my fingers, on my, my picking hand, my right hand, for me, uh, if I use a thin pick. And I've never used thin picks. So I went from just grabbing any medium pick, not even care, caring if it was pointy or not, to using thick picks and using thick pointy picks and using thin picks with all kinds of different wraps and grips on them. So I hope that was a little helpful and thanks for watching.